This week, we'll move on to more current approaches. We believe that you are going to find very meaningful contributions. Without further ado, let us officially begin this week with the following method, communicative language teaching. Whenever we talk about it, there is one key word that we are going to have to refer to, interaction. If you do communicative language teaching, you teach so that students can interact. Interaction becomes both the means and the goal. Thanks to this method, teachers started to bring to the classroom resources that were not thought to be used in it, such as newspapers, movies, songs, magazines. What's the name of this? All right, take some seconds to remember. Materials that were not designed with a pedagogical purpose, but when they are taken to the classroom, they have a pedagogical purpose. What's the name of that? Exactly, authentic materials. Now, authentic materials are not only magazines, videos, or newspapers, no. Let's have a look at a top five of authentic materials that are different from the ones that we usually bring in the classroom. Let's begin. On spot number five, we have comics, a very powerful teaching tool. It implies having students to interpret graphics. It is very appealing for some of them, especially now that so many young generations are getting into Japanese and Korean comics all over the world. It is actually a current trend from which we can benefit for the sake of learning English. And of course, since it's from Japan and South Korea to the world, they have an English version available. When teachers bring comics to their lessons, they provoke a lot of thinking in the classroom. Students are asked many questions about the events of the story, what they think it will happen, what they would like to happen, their feelings towards the events, and so on. When using comics in the classroom, language is used within a context. Students get to explore the character's features, characteristics, personality traits, and so on. They have a lot to say about the story and about the characters who perform in there. Depending on the story, students can express their ideas and feelings about different social issues and problematic situations related to real life. We know that we should be careful when choosing the comic because we want to make sure that the language is appropriate. But, depending on the stage that the students are in, they would need to know also real language, the one spoken on the streets. On spot number four we have restaurant menus. What an excellent idea! And many of them are available on the internet. Even if we don't get a real one because we don't live in an English-speaking country, there are several of them online. Have students find out menus on their own, what they would like to order, ask them to bring those menus into the classroom, and work on real language that is used in real restaurants in life outside the school. On this same spot, students can find shopping catalogs online, on Amazon, on iTunes, whatever they are interested in. If they download such catalogs, they can have discussions and conversations about what they would like to buy, why and whether it is expensive or cheap in their opinion. On spot number three we have interviews. When teachers bring interviews to the classroom, they can approach them from a content perspective. We can ask our students to choose different famous people who have been interviewed in English and analyze the interaction between the interviewer and the interviewee. Also, Students can share their opinions and their understanding about ideas, about the real content of the interview. If there is still time, teachers can ask their students to focus on body language and other paralinguistic aspects that students can analyze, pragmatics, social linguistic aspects, politeness and appropriateness, and so many more. By having clear examples and choosing very appealing interviews, students can also develop skills to interact more fluently whenever they ask questions and whenever they have to answer them. On spot number two, we have pieces of advertisement. 
they are very interesting, very graphic and sometimes very controversial. But that is also very important and meaningful and they have both language and content. There are so many things to be said about pieces of advertisement. They can be used even with children. They can express what they see and how they interpret that. If students are in high school, students can analyze the inner message that is between the lines, as well as the social implications that the message may have. It's kind of a discourse analysis at a high school appropriate level. And finally, on spot number one, we have blogs, Instagram accounts and YouTubers. These are the people that our students watch day by day on their devices. Some YouTubers and bloggers have probably been very controversial, but there are some other ones that are fantastic and actually very educational in the content that they post. Just like there are YouTubers and bloggers who have been vulgar just to be famous, there are some other ones who just want to teach. And it is time for five examples that we have for you. Here are five YouTubers and bloggers that can give you a hand in the classroom when learning English. On YouTube, you can find English with Lucy. This young British girl is very clever in the ideas that she proposes. Everything that she explains is in English and the topics that she addresses are explicitly related to learning English or a foreign language in general. She has comments, tips and recommendations about how to pronounce better, how to stop translating in our minds, the difference between accents like Australia and England, and tips to have a good conversation. Choose one of her videos as homework, she definitely has good content for our Bethlehemite students. On YouTube you can also find Kristen Sarah. She's a very nice girl who shares her travel experiences around the world. She has so many useful tips about how to pack properly, how to cope with language barriers when somebody is in a country in which a different language is spoken, and also how to eat like the locals. You're also invited to explore Crash Course on YouTube as well. This YouTube channel was designed for schools that want to address literature, history and other subject matters in graphic ways. Don't miss the chance to explore it, its level is high, but if it's worked properly in bits and pieces, it could work. You can also invite openroad.com to the classroom. This blog is written by a 19-year girl from the UK who shares her experiences abroad and in her country. She has posts related to her personal achievements, her dreams, her life, her goals and her thoughts and feelings. Just like she says, she just wants to spread positivity all around. And last but not least, you can ask for Alicia Marie's YouTube channel's help. This YouTuber is very entertaining for students and her videos talk about current topics and even how to become a YouTuber. Nowadays, many of our beloved Bethlehemite students want to be recognized in their social media because of any of their talents. Alright, continuing with this method, we not only acknowledge the use of authentic materials to it, we also have to thank the focus on metacognition. Have you heard about this concept? How would you express it with your own words? Meta means beyond, so metacognition is going beyond cognition. It means going beyond thinking. This is when students or somebody thinks about the way he or she thinks. It's thinking about the way we think. It's reflecting upon our mind. It's when students carefully think about the way they learn, when they reflect upon their learning processes. Okay, according to this method, it is highly important to take into account every student's experience. This is when we ask them questions that are real. 
This is when we ask them questions about themselves, such as, what did you do last night? What did you have for breakfast? What do you want to be when you graduate from high school? This is definitely important and a very clever way to foster a close relationship between the students and English. If English becomes personal, if students acquire the language and not only learn it, they will make it their own. A language will be real in the classroom. That's the idea, that students not only learn, but acquire and live the language. For sure, in this method, students communicate in the target language. They are more than invited to make mistakes. They learn by actively using the language. This is why teachers foster a lot of speaking and interacting. According to communicative language teaching, the goal of learning a language is to be able to communicate. Students are able to get and to give messages. They can understand and they can express what they mean to say. Teachers are facilitators and students are active. Now, when it comes to identifying this method in the classroom, we can mention the following techniques. Definitely, role plays. Teachers set the scene and students assume a role depending on the case or the context. It's very important that role plays are done seriously and honestly. This means that students benefit from the chance of living a simulated situation in the classroom the same way that they would do outside of it. Many teachers argue that classrooms are never going to be restaurants or airports, and that is true. However, it is also true that we, as teachers, have the command of setting the same rules of an airport or a restaurant in the classroom. This means that role plays are helpful and meaningful as long as they are done, carried out, but most importantly, performed seriously and respectfully. It is all about the mindset and it is all about acting accordingly. The mindset is what helps students in the world outside the classroom. In this approach, there are also interviews, group tasks, and information gap activities. Students are asked very often to share their opinions. The typical find someone who activity is also suitable in this approach. Students need to complete a task by interacting, and interaction is the key. That's the purpose of it. Now, what is the task that is going to be done? First, Find out a very interesting and innovating metacognitive technique. And please, share it here and also tell us why you think it's interesting and innovating. Don't forget to support your answers. Second, create an innovating activity in which students are required to interact. It has to be new. It has to be your own. This way, you are all going to have a bank of interactive activities in this course whenever you need any for your real lessons.